With the recent release of Ant Plus radar support on the Wahoo head units, I've been outside clocking up to kilometers with this thing watching my back. Or my head, if you saw my video the other day with those magpies swooping. That magpie video was a teaser about upcoming functionality which has now been released, and that is the ability to change that icon to whatever you like on your roam, your bolt, or your element. So in the last week, I've gone from a herd of llamas chasing me out on the road over to kangaroos, which is not uncommon. On Friday the 13th, it was a black cat that was now chasing me. And as requested on Twitter, the ski free monster, which is appropriate out on the road. You do not want to be caught by this guy. Okay, so with firmware 6023, I can let you in on the secret, but a few disclaimers first. First of all, this is an undocumented feature, so you're only going to find it here and also over on dcramaker.com because we share notes. Changing the icon is a manual process, so there's no ability to do this within the Wahoo Element app. Rollback is pretty easy. You just delete the file that we've put in place. And from here on, it's continue at your own risk. So with the disclaimers out of the way, here is the info that you need to put your custom icon on your Roam, Bolt, or Element head unit. It is a PNG image file format. The size is around 25 by 28 pixels. Now you have to experiment with this yourself. I believe the radar active bar on the side there is 25 pixels wide, but give or take a few, you will need to experiment. My icons are between 18 and 25 pixels wide, the uh, test icons that I've been playing around with. It'll need to have a transparent background, the file name has to be radar underbar car.png and the colors also work on the roam. Okay, to run you through the installation, I will go the element roam today and a USB cable. USB C into the Mac. Micro USB into the roam. Already powered on. Okay, and what pops up here is the Android file transfer because I'm on a Mac. Now I need to create a folder called Wahooligan. And it's within that folder we need to drop the icon. Now I've got a few I've already created here. We have a llama, a few Pac-Man ghosts, a little bomb I think that is, Formula One car. Now this was the original from the beta, which I really liked. We have a magpie, kangaroo, the Ski Free Monster, which somebody asked me to do, I have done it, that's in my download pack, I'll put it over on gplama.com, and also the Retro 1UP. So we're gonna use the Retro 1UP, drag and drop that into here, these are all the correct size already, and then we rename that to radar underbar car.png. Okay, that's good to go. It's in the right folder. We unplug, we reboot. Okay, that's now on. I'll put the radar in test mode, press and hold, top button of the RTL 510. We are in test mode, that should pair, and there we have it. We have one ups flying up the screen. Now in the test mode, it'll only put the icon about halfway down the screen. Out on the road, it'll actually go the full length there and multiple, so that's just what test mode is doing there. And it's also the same process for the bolt and the element, but they have monochrome screens. So there we have it, how to customize your own radar image on the Element, Bolt, or Roam GPS head units from Wahoo. Just a bit of fun. There's also a website called pickresize.com, which comes in handy if you want to shrink an image down, but you're willing to play around with this a little bit to get the icon just right. And sometimes the colors or the shades don't quite match up with that sidebar. So just be aware of that. Okay, if you've liked this one, hit subscribe, hit like. And why does Ray have chickens? What's with chickens?